Hello, I'm Mark Stern, your personal estate agent, having a nice walk through Cassiebury Park, uh, my, my home territory. Um, and I wanted to just have a chat with you today and let you know about what you get if you decide to instruct me as your personal estate agent. So I think the first question we have to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for from an estate agent? What are we expecting them to do? So the obvious thing we're expecting them to do is to sell our property for us um, as hassle-free as we possibly can. We're expecting them to put it on the market, to find a suitable buyer, to make sure that that buyer is fully qualified and that the transaction is going through, it goes through without any hassles. Uh, we may also be looking for them to also help find, help us find a property. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty basic job as an estate agent to do. So therefore, why do estate agents have a bad reputation? Well, sometimes it's because of attitude. Um, they think that, they, that your property is their property and they can do whatever they like with their property. I find a lot of people have a good old moan about the fact that they never hear from their agent from one week or one month even to the next. If they do get offers, a seller tends to feel that the offer is uh, very biased towards the buyer. You know, oh, the market's doing this at the moment, the market's doing that. And it's just, it's a whole load of things that make you feel like if that agent was actually your friend, would they be treating you like this? You know, do they have your best interest at heart? And all I can say is that when I market a property, the word personal, it means just that. I really do focus on you as the seller and your property. Um, I think of it as that you're my friend. Um, and I mean that in a professional way. You know, I'm selling a property right now for a really good friend of mine. And I can tell you now that I don't treat him any different to all of my clients. Uh, that comes with just being open and being transparent and just doing the very best that I can for everybody. Um, you have to excuse me if his camera's jumping around a little bit here, but there's a good old rocky ground in the lovely Cassibury Park. So I think that when we start therefore looking at agents we start thinking oh, who are we going to choose who's going to be the best agent i really do think that you know you getting when people get in um three or four agents to to see who they prefer they're all the same you're getting in the same agents you're getting in normally three people that have got offices in the high street um you know there's going to be really no difference in their fees uh, no difference in the service that they provide, no difference in where they're marketing your property. And it, it all comes down to the fact of who do you like the most. So I feel that if you get a good connection with an estate agent, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I get properties on, I sell them. Um, got a property on my books just round the corner from where I'm standing right now in the park, literally. And... This property has been under offer with another agent for five months. The vendor is so fed up of excuse after excuse why the buyer cannot proceed to exchange a contract that she was introduced to me through somebody who I'd sold a property for. I took the property on less than a week ago. I have 20 viewings booked in and I already have an offer I'm going to stop walking for this one. And I already have an offer over the asking price on this property with still about another 12 viewings to go. She accepted an offer four months ago, which was actually £40,000 under the asking price. So does that have anything to do with the market? It probably does. Houses at the moment are absolutely booming. And if you've got a house to sell, you need to talk to me about it. But I think the big thing here that I have done that's very different is I make these wonderful videos um, well I think they're pretty wonderful and actually a lot of my customers seem to really like them as well um, 
I have amazing contacts. I've got a network of contacts, as well as being an agent myself since 1979, uh, when I first left school at the tender age of 16. Um, you know, I've got decades and decades worth of experience, but that experience isn't just about doing the job. That experience is about knowing people, getting to know people, networking, meeting people, having connections, because connections you know, when people are looking to buy a house, I get so many calls every day of people looking to buy property. And it's very frustrating when I don't have the property for them. I mean, I live in Cassiabray. I don't have any properties on in Cassiabray because Cassiabray properties tend to go to one or two particular agents. Well, you know what? Those one or two agents, fantastic. They've got the monopoly of an area. But I can tell you this, if I ended up getting your property on where I live, my passion and love for where I actually live, it, 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 it's a no-brainer that I would be the agent that would end up getting a much higher price for your property. So, to sum up this whole little talk, really what I'm trying to say to you is this. If you've got a property to sell, don't discard the fact that someone with 40 years experience as an estate agent can't sell your property because believe me I can definitely sell your property what you're going to be guaranteed from by me from me is a service that is an excellent service so you're going to get me speaking to you probably every couple of days maybe every day um, you know my vendor just now in Watford I just got off the phone from her before making this video and she just said to me she said in the one week you've had the property, you've already spoken to me probably four times more than the agent that's had it on for the last five, six months. Um, and you're going to get openness, transparency, strategies. You're just going to get me doing what I do best. Um, and if you're worried about what happens if I'm off on holiday or just not feeling well or something like that, I have a lovely niche network of other estate agents just like me we cover for each other when we're away. Um, they've all got decades and decades of experience, so that's never an issue. So give me a call now if you're looking to sell your property with Mark Stern. Thank you.